that simple. But looks like we're finally going to be getting into it. Like you said, Lucario We Fit. Yeah, the Xeno Classic coming at us. We're, we're going to gonna get into this first game I'm not sure what the stage is or we're going town interesting pick this is like if, if john numbers vv was the lion king this is like the live action uh the lion king <laughs> yeah game, this uh, is this is it's, the, it's the, the pre-evolved the, the new the new edition of we fit and uh lucario right now that's right some some young hopefuls perhaps we got we got opal on starting up real strong yeah, though o opal trying to uh take some names right now i mean he, he, i'm i've seen him play he's pretty solid he took camex to like game three last hit and oh, Cam camex is you know a really solid player no yeah for sure yeah i've played Opal before he's definitely got some stuff but we got obo on right now pushing this advantage i mean Ooh, the back air gonna be safe on shield and, and whittling the shield down so much that the the ball is actually gonna shield poke there and that's so big because I feel like Lucario, with his like, uh, with his movement, with his airspeed, he's gonna be doing a lot of like wave bounce landing and shields and such, and trying to like get himself safe to then use his broken Whoa, aura like that. And that, that was, was clean. Insane. That, that was, was so clean. clean. The B reverse on the neutral B into the back air, catching Obuan, sleeping right there and getting a really early kill. That was very impressive. This this aura pressure has been been pretty huge for Ubo so far. Getting a grab, no extension though. Yeah, and the thing is, if if um, Obuan can keep shield pressure up, Lucario is going to be able to live for super long. So, like I was saying earlier, getting that shield dwindled down is really important because now, I mean, you know, it may look like Lucario can die any second, but if he's able to shield camp and just charge more aura sphere, this could be death. That's right, but you see Ubo trying to get out of the corner a little too quickly with that landing there. Going to get back aired by that swift. We fit back here. Frame five, I yep. believe. Pretty crazy stuff. So we got, we're back to even. Ubo was doing a really good job of, you know, like kind of boxing and weaving around We Fit's uh, projectiles while he had the lead. But we'll see what he can do when we're at even. Obwan on the ledge, excellent position for We Fit. But Ubo kind of shutting down the the soccer ball with that aura sphere there. Oh, and the only one hit of F tilt. I'm gonna let Obwan get back to stage just to get put in disadvantage right now, trying to land, and now you're back at ledge, and it seems like, ooh, I was gonna say, it seems like ubel has been really good at keeping we fit at ledge, but that really good roll gonna get her out of there. Yeah, that roll is is enormous. Quick option for we fit to oh. just get out of there real quick. Going for an up smash right ooh, there. That's a long deep breathing, but Obwan's gonna get it, and he's still going for the the ball. Oh my oh, god, extreme that was speed. So risky. That could yeah, for sure. Death. That could have been a fat up smash, but. I like, like the idea. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like the idea from uh, from Ubu here. So yeah, Ubu, you know, it's kind of chilling. Not not really any reason to run into Wii Fit and get F tilted or something. So he's just gonna charge that aura, wait for an opening. Obwan's gonna gonna go to his comfort zone, the ledge. Ooh, he's kind of he, he threw himself off the stage a little bit there. And that was a clean parry right there. Yeah, knowing. most definitely allowing him to punish that up B. Yeah, and cut, and that's just showing some adaptation because ubel has been doing aggressive up B's like I think pretty much every time coming yeah, back. Yeah, sure. So good, like I think definitely had that scouted out and mm -hmm. sadly wasn't able wow. to close this or sadly got the stock taken, but able to bring it back right yep. to even. We are going right back to that ledge. Getting, oh, I mean, he's definitely fine. Yeah, another aggressive up B. Obwan's definitely gonna gotta respect that option for sure. And Ooh, that's Obwan a big right sun now. salutation. That's 26 damage, man. I mean, we fit just tax on the damage yeah. so well, even without deep breathing. Speaking of which, we're gonna have that on the board. If you're Obwan right now, it, it's not about getting this early percent that you need to figure out. It's the thing is, Obwan has gotten the party to high percent and has let Ubel live long enough to lose the stock first twice now. And so yeah. now this stock, you cannot afford that. You're going to have to figure out how are you closing it out when Lucario's at high aura yeah. or sphere camping. Has been getting to uh, Ubel to pretty, pretty high percents for the majority of the game. So definitely don't want to let Lucario get to that the triple digit range. Kind of want to close out the stock a little bit early, which you can definitely do with Wii Fit. But Ubel playing like pretty defensively right now, not, not want to. Do any antsy openings? Ooh. Ooh, almost got something off of that aura sphere, but gonna get the projectile of and that, and we're we're looking at a strong position on this oh ledge. My we fit God. is so privileged. What? That oh is, man. Uh, Obwan, gotta take this luck and run with it right now. One thing I've been noticing is Ubel's been doing some landing aura spheres on uh, like Obwan, like doing uh, volleyball and such, which yeah. can be really good. The thing is, we fit has an invincible up smash that can anti air that, so I wonder if that's in the back of Obwan's mind. Yeah. I next mean, time he does that B reverse. Whiffing, whiffing that could could spell death for Obwan. Oh, oh my! Oh I my! 
think he meant to do that, but that was insane. I, I'm, I, I really doubt it, but we I'm gonna pretend. Get to yeah, we definitely got to get a replay on that one. So, let's see. The let's ball. see. So, the ball hits the shield. Oh, no. Oh, no he does yeah. another one. Ball okay. bounces off Lucario. Yeah. And Ubo looking very surprised after that. Yeah. Let's see Obon's reaction. Does Obon know? Yeah, does, does he have the con did he have the confidence in that play or, or was that a surprise? Uh, he, he hit his own head. I, I, I'm starting to think that was not intentional. <laughs> Perhaps not. But maybe but you're very fortunate. Yeah, no, gonna gonna put him on the board for that game one. And I mean the 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 sun salutation kind of just going through the and it flew. That was that yeah. shot directly at Lucario. Yeah, Uva was just holding into the stage since Weefit was you know pretty and much stationary. Something but. interesting about that last sun salutation is it went through the aura sphere yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, we saw that. Uh, yeah, we saw a lot of weird interactions. Yeah, right there, you saw he he chucked a full aura sphere yeah. right in his grill, and and it was it didn't even look like the ball hit it, but yeah, it, I think it just it might completely nullified the, the whole of thing of the the header itself, like yeah. the spike hit that that, with that it. kill was sick right there. The the aura into back air yeah, was, that was very, very nice. Yeah, so some uh, the forces of the universe wind Obon to win that game. They right definitely there. did. Let's, let's see if they're still in uh, the his God favor. Of I mean, we, we see Uba playing this defensive game, but every time you get poked by one of those Wii Fit projectiles, you're either taking, you know, 15 from the soccer ball if she has deep breathing, or like 26 from the sun salutation. So, you know, not going to get as much damage as when you're up close and personal with Wii Fit and advantage, but still tacking on really good percent from long range. We see Uba once again. Kind of, kind of trying to hit the hit him with that uh, aura spear on the ledge, but I mean, Obon, the ball is just just nullifying it, and, and he can't really do much you now. Yeah, Obon kind of holding in, yeah. Ooh. Two nares on the shield have both been punished by Obon. And Obon getting a little antsy for sure. The thing is, I believe Lucario's nair is oh. like minus two or something. It's yeah, like, no, it's very safe. So he's just, I think uh, it's just he's doing him too early. He's doing him too early. Yeah, yeah he's not spacing them properly, timing. Uh, and I mean, if you do it at the same time every time, it becomes much easier to punish. Ooh, trying to get a hard read on like an air dodge yeah, that, or something. That's the there. BB right there. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to go for these really hard call outs. I don't know. Obon seems very content, just kind of standing there, waiting, rolling away. You know, not necessarily uh, gunning for an aggressive option out of that shield there. So Ubo's gonna have to adapt that shield pressure, maybe throw in a, uh, a command grab or something like that to, to mix up Obon. You see them just playing this this long range neutral. Try, Ubo trying to get in there. I mean, yeah, like I said, Ooh. Obon really comfortable with just holding shield. Is that something I noticed while playing friendly? Oh, with him. and that killed. Yeah, that the back hit of that uh, F tilt did yeah. take the stop. Yeah, uh, Obon is comfortable with that because um, from those aura sphere hits on shield, uh, Ubo hasn't been mixing it up with anything that can contest shield. Has not done like a cancel into a command grab. That's ever. right. Yeah, they, it, it's um, Obon has totally gone away with shielding, so there's no reason he shouldn't keep it up. Yeah, right now. He's, he's just gonna keep doing it until you can uh, until you can force him to stop. And I mean. Ubo trying to chase him off stage. I mean, he is at a deficit. You kind of have to put a stock on the board, but Obuan very comfortable off stage with a character like Wii Fit who can spend so much time in the air. Ooh. Trying to go for an aura sphere there. An aggressive up -y. Gonna yeah. win that scramble. Back at the ledge. I mean, I think, you know, Obuan, or Ubo was kind of put on the pressure in that first game on that ledge, but I, I think Obuan has it. Ooh, there, there we, we go. go. Just like we said, allowing him to get that that decent kill right there. Obon's gonna have to uh, adapt if he does not want that to happen again. Yeah, and another thing I think Obon's gonna have to adapt to, or, or maybe Ubul actually, is that um, Obon's been rolling a lot from ledge. It oh, seems yeah. like, uh, even like to the point where Ubul punished it off stage with that up B aggressively. It's mm -hmm. becoming pretty telegraphed because of how scared he is of that aura sphere, like on the neutral getup. But I think if Ubo can get good at punishing that, like that could be an F smash. That, yeah, that for could be sure. a huge I mean, momentum we, we saw him looking for the F smash before out of that, that type of pressure. So that could be what we were looking for. We got Lucario at 135. We fit in a bit of a precarious position. That that aura sphere is gonna tack on major percent right there. So we're looking at a yeah, we're can, looking at a game oof. where someone can die in the next hit. Once again, rolled from ledge, able to get away with it because of the ball. But this could Ooh. very easily go south. Yeah, Ubo moving around that Wii Fit threat range really well with that aura sphere there, but he's got full aura. Ooh. One call out. The raw pain. And now it's going to be a dead Wii Fit. Obon finally not punishing that, uh -oh. that Nair. Ubo spacing it properly. The one time he gets haste or, or a little impatient, 
Uh, Obon ready to punish and take that stock. You got a no aura Lucario on the field right now. Oh wow, yeah, just calling out that jump with the refit uh, forward air. It's gonna be such a great tool in contesting Lucario in the air. He doesn't really have a lot of uh, a big front-facing uh, hitbox to contest that forward air, so, so Obon's just gonna be comfortable. Big chill in the middle of the stage. Another command grab, and oh, that's a dead that, refit in That DI three. did not look amazing. Yeah, no, that certainly was not great DI, but we see Ubel implementing the uh, counterplay we mentioned before with that, that command grab. Obon's oh. definitely got to stop holding the shield if he does not want to get hit by that. Yeah, and Obon pressing a lot of buttons right now. Has not been punished for it, though, but definitely... Another aggressive up I don't think he's gone to the ledge a single time, to be honest. He's going to oh. the ledge right there, though. And then and another that, and then up <laughs> I mean, he gets out of a lot of pressure with it, but Obon seems to have that punish. Decently consistent, so we'll yeah. see how uh, Ubo gets back to the stage right now. Another say, aggressive up B. Especially a, a, a Sun Salutation could totally shut down that up B. That's right. A lot of Wii Fit's moves. Ooh, yeah. I don't know about sun that F Smash. That's going to be a fat Sun Salutation and a fat 2 0 for the homie Obon. Yeah, I feel like. Ubo had some adaptations, but I think just honestly he tried forcing things too much by the end right Most there. Most definitely, yeah. He he had the uh, he had the game plan on lock. I mean, he was chipping away at him with those aura spheres. He had the, the good shield mix-ups, and Obon really wasn't adapting. I mean, if he just kept that game plan going and didn't get so hasty running into Wii Fit, he might have been able to take that game, but Obon, the initial game plan. Going to uh, going to win in that set. Yeah, I'm thinking about all of uh, Ubel's deaths that last game. A lot of them, I feel like, um, were uh, one. Well, the last one was just the Anxi F smash, but right there, the jump got called out, and That's I think right. the the first stock lost to a reverse F, F, F tilt potentially on the jump, or maybe it was a roll in. But I believe it was. An it was the uh, yeah the the backwards hit of that. Yeah, uh, that yeah. F tilt. I forgot what he did. I think he might have rolled into him. I'm yeah, it was sure. either a roll or a jump. But, yeah, um, we fit certainly. Uh, character that can cover yeah i mean yeah, the, yeah you're, you're, you're completely right the deaths from Ubel were were mostly you know he did that impatient jump right into we fit he did a random you know dash back f smash costing him getting hit by that uh, sun salutation mm -hmm. you know slowing it down a little bit more could have made this set uh go to a game three most definitely 100%. but uh Ubel, ooh, he was he was adapting towards the end let's see what, what do we ooh, we got we got we fit down tilt oh went right over went look right at that. over look at the spacing on that up B. Yeah, those aggressive up B's we're doing, yeah, they're pretty good, but I mean. It's a solid I mean, option. I guess we fit. You know, I know it's also a solid option. Oh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the Macharino was on screen. So the Macharino was, was on screen. You, oh. you were coming in with that. Oh, I was so, so ready for the transition. Well, regardless, you don't need to see it to know that you can type an exclamation point Macharino. But, can, uh, and an, I'm live, you, I just threw an actual ad. <laughs> okay, I see. But um, yeah, we're going to be getting into uh, Silvio versus Skeet. Uh, nice. I'm not sure if Skeet is this person's actual tag or they're like 